What is going on my YouTube friends? Hope you're having a great day and today I am sharing with you about this Husky tool bag. Now I own two toolboxes trying to condense them into one and was hoping really to make it work because I really like this bag. I mean this bag is awesome but uh, as I reorganized everything last night and with my tool bits and everything I found that it probably would be best for me to keep my boxes just with everything that I have. But with that said, I'll tell you what, I really like this bag and it's one again that I would recommend. So this is the Husky 24 inch bag and I'll put a link where you get more information. Uh, it is a 600 denier water resistant material, 26 storage pockets, shoulder strap and dual zipper top. Uh, the dimensions are 24 inch length, 11 inch width and 12 inch in height um, and you can see there just an idea for how you can organize your tools which you know maybe I need to relook revisit before I give up on this bag completely but uh, uh, what I really it's a sweet bag uh, I like the colors it's really well made so you've got all these different pockets along the way some obviously are going to be bigger than others you have these uh, great pockets on the sides and then also you have these great pockets uh, here on the sides as well and on this side. So all the way around plus on the inside you have the pockets both uh, over on here. Sorry, I'll try and make this as best as possible. Maybe we go in this direction here. So you've got pockets all along the bottom down here. There's multiple pockets. Nothing on either the top or, or bottom there. Uh, and again, on this side as well. Yeah, look, what do you know? I found a couple of things in there from when I was reorganizing. Uh, then you've got the strap, and there is a hook. There's a hook over here, and a hook over here for the shoulder strap. And then you get this really strong and sturdy handle. Uh, it is really, really well made. I love the stitching. It's very nice. Um, one of the things that I did find was a little bit um, annoying, uh, if I would say of anything from the bag, is when you are closing and zipping it up, if you've got a lot of stuff in here, you know, being able to then, you know, zip this, because it seems like you have to hold this and then try to get the zipper to, to work. So I would say if anything is a little bit of a nuisance, it's the zipper uh, when closing it. But it's a really, really good zipper. Um, very thick zipper, nice uh, pulleys. Uh, for the zipper so very very nice tool bag uh, one that I would definitely recommend I know there's different sizes obviously but if you are looking for you know a fairly decent size this is definitely the way to go uh, and it seems like it can really hold quite a bit in here uh, weight wise so let me know if you have any questions um, and then as far as the bottom here this is you know seems to be uh, flexible if you want to know about flexibility and then on top it's uh, you know it's got reinforced metal on top and so what happens is when you open it up it's got um, you know this uh, this metal it's got a metal strip running uh, all across here as well as over here uh, one other thing I just noticed as well this there's a little hook right here on top that you might be able to like hook something to it's not very big there but all in all this is this is a really really nice tool bag so anyway just wanted to share this with you if you are in the market for one again click on the link in the description where you can read more about it and order it and uh, feel free to leave any comments or questions but obviously I am not using it and uh, really long term I won't really know because I'm not gonna keep it but uh, from my first uh, you know feeling of the bag it seems like it's very well made and one uh, from the reviews that I've read that people really love it it just to me this is a bag that's gonna last uh, and it's affordable as well all right everybody have a great day thanks so much for watching